biggest difference between Nate Matlock this year and the one last year? Uh, I'd say just playing with more confidence. Um, just fall camp, I've, we practiced. I think today was our 14th practice, and I already feel much more confident. I can play faster. And we got a lot more stuff in the defense that allow us to just get after the quarterback. So I can just use my abilities. You added on, what, about 10 pounds, I think? Or? Uh, yeah, probably. You still feel as fast? Yeah, oh, yeah. I still feel really good. Um, Coach Drew got us right during the summer and then during the spring, especially because I was in the pit the entire time uh, during spring ball. So uh, we were just riding the bike. I was always staying in shape. My body fat's probably way lower. Um, I didn't get to see it because I got COVID, but it's, I know it is. So, yeah, I'm really excited for the season, see what happens. Would you say this defense has improved the most from last season? And now? Um, I think our leadership's really good. We are really close. Like, when I turn around and look at the guys behind me, I'm like, these guys are all my best friends. Like, I love hanging with these guys. Um, we play extremely fast, too. Um, I Just watching guys at practice, watching our safeties, Josh Hayes and Kobe Savage fly down the field and run through tackles. We can't talk about practice, but what they would do in a game, I'm just super excited to see. And I think that's the biggest thing that we've grown as a defense. What's the biggest thing you've learned from a, from a guy like Felix? Uh, to play really hard. Like he's every snap, he's always going. His feet move extremely fast every play. He never he never stops when he's rushing or playing the run blocks. He's just he's got a really good motor, and that's just what has got them where he is now. So, if Khalid can come back fully healthy, what will he mean to this defense? A ton. I mean, we can get a lot of good edge rushers on the field all at once if he comes back just healthy and ready to go. Um, and I would just be, I'd be worried for the other offenses, honestly, just because we, we've got so much talent up front. And even if he plays Sam, I mean, we'll still have him, Deuce Green, Austin Moore, Will Honus, Sean Robinson. I mean, it just goes on and on, just adding to the list, honestly. How much growth did you see in your game and the exposure you got to the field last season? Uh, I've seen a lot. I mean, so I didn't get to do spring ball, obviously, but I just sat in the film room and watched a lot of film, watched NFL guys, seen what they do, and try to take parts of their game and put it into mine. And I've been able to put that on the field in this fall camp, and it's gone well so far. Who do you cut up at the NFL level? Uh, I've watched Max Crosby a lot. Um, another one would be TJ Watt, um, Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa. Those are my favorite guys to watch. When you turn around and you see Deuce Green, what comes to mind? I don't um, Confidence. Looking behind me and seeing him, one of the best linebackers in the Big 12, I mean, seeing how fast he plays, like I'm just getting off the ball and he's already in the backfield making a play. Like, it's just a lot of confidence and I feel like um, it helps me just be able to play well too because I know I have him and all our linebackers behind me and it's just it's a really good feeling. Played in three down as opposed to four down did you feel like you had to change your body any or get bigger or anything like that? Or yeah I definitely had to get bigger uh, I had to learn how to play the run way better I mean it's you get a lot more double teams and stuff like that when you're playing in three down compared to four down so I had to learn how to do different techniques and stuff like that that was probably the hardest part um, but yeah I definitely had to gain some weight too to Help me out there. Did you, did you go into to fall camp with any goals for yourself that you, that you wanted to achieve? Yeah, I just want to take it day by day and try to improve each day and get better each day. And then I just have goals for the season and just keep those in mind whenever I'm attacking each day, honestly. But my main thing was just take it day by day and don't worry about the future, don't worry about the past, just worry about the present. On the offensive line, who have you gone against that has maybe A, surprised you, or B, you've been just really impressed with? Um, I mean, KT, uh, Katori Levison, he's been, he's improved a ton. I mean, he, uh, he's, he played last year in I think majority of the games, but now he's kind of uh, put himself out in front of some other guys. And uh, I can, whenever I go against him on his side, it's definitely a lot tougher than it has been. So he's definitely, improved a ton. I mean, obviously Cooper, he's the best on the offensive line. I mean, he's that guy. Um, and then Christian Duffy, we go against each other pretty much every day because we're on the same side majority of the time. And he's improved so much. And, he, and he's making me way better, too, because um, just the different stuff he shows me throughout practice prepares me for what I'm going to see 
this season on the field.